Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading uh, July uh, 29th to August 4th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump uh, right into it. All right, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic for Scorpio uh, week is going to be the Four of Cups, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that we Scorpio needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Moon card. <clears throat> Afterwards, it is the uh, positive aspect of the week and that is to be the Three of Pentacles. And then the last one that we do have, which is the guidance the tarot is offering to us, that is going to be the uh, page of wands. By the way, the tree of pentacles was the one card that fell down that I was shuffling. I put it into the deck, cut it in, it's, it's there. So obviously it's uh, something we need to go through. Um, all right, so Scorpio, just on the first glance, uh, this week we guys are to, um, how can I place it? to be a little bit anxious, not for any particular reason though, right? So it's kind of like I do have these, uh, these stan standpoints or rather like these, um, I don't know how to describe it, but let's say I, I wake up uh, one morning and it kind of feels that something is wrong, you know, and that there is something that it is to happen in these kind of stuff. So such kind of a... Uh, uh, such kind of an emotions are going to haunt us uh, throughout the week with no particular reason once again, all right? They are just, I don't know, some sort of an expression of the uh, of the universe maybe, but there won't be, uh, and they, they're not going to be backed up by any significant um, either progress or uh, deterioration for that matter. So the week itself, for what it seems, is going to be rather completely normal and completely usual um, to a point where we may feel bored, you know, or we may feel that we're not um, <clears throat> making as much progress as we want to make and etc, etc. But before we go there, guys, let's run down the cards one more time. So we do have the Four of Cups, which is the first one. That is our topic, followed by the Moon card, which is the challenge here. Afterwards, it's going to be the Tree of Pentacles, which represents the guidance. And the last one is going to be the Page of Wands, which stands for... Uh, the, the Tree of Pentacles represents the uh, positive aspect. And the last one represents the guidance, which is the Page of Wands. So Four of Cups uh, usually stands for the last line of consumption. What I mean here is that we are to we are on the final stage 
of a, a particular, I would say, milestone in our life. And uh, although we may find ourselves right now in a rather comfortable position, you know, where we still enjoy, you know, the fruits of your la of our labor and etc. etc. And now it's time for us to start thinking of how we can explore out and expand on this uh, on this position, which the Four of Cups is all about, you know. So. <clears throat> Let's say that you have uh, uh, accomplished a very good achievement into your career, but finalizing that very difficult project, you know, and you are happy of it. Everybody, everybody looks at you like you are a god or something, all right? But that was quite a while ago, and now this affects of your of your achievement it's it's coming to an end okay it's still present but it is in final stage and so you have to now or we have to now start thinking of how we can you know how how we can benefit more from it in a sense of the to to, to transform or to traverse it into a another go another try or or another drive so what i'm trying to say here scorpio is that while we guys can spend the week completely enjoying ourselves you know with uh, with the endeavors we want for ourselves the best way we can use the week is to start think of how we are to sprawl our business our relationship or expand them if you prefer you know and in generally how how we can widen our world the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of swords formation it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have so right now for what it seems you are not going to concern yourself way too much with uh, the uh with the predicaments that one may face when one is to start sprawling their world for what i know I am uh, about to sprawl my business because probably uh, if you have watching if you have been watching the uh, the monthly videos I there mentioned that um, I am working now upon a some sort of a uh, online class for the elemental dignities these things that you are hearing me saying neutrals you know active neutrals passive neutrals friends supporters and these kind of stuff it's because many people were asking about it and where they can find information unfortunately there is way too much information out there for them and the majority of them is un incomplete and the rest of it isn't true <clears throat> Uh, I have learned it from a very old book, so unfortunately I cannot tell you where to buy a book for it because there is no such book uh, right now. It's just, it, it's my cousin bought it from an antiquarian, all right? And uh, yeah, it's uh, this is what I'm considering. So it's about, for me, it's about sprawling the business. But for you, you know, it could be, <clears throat> you know, sprawling your marriage, sprawling your your relationship or or your intimate life where you start dating more people and more people. So you have more versatility to choose from and etc, etc. Uh, <clears throat> the challenge uh, here stands for the moon card. So the moon, it does point to a sense of insecurity. All right. Uh, and the, this sense that I talked about that you wake up one morning and you may feel that, you know, something is wrong and something isn't going on just as quite as good that you uh, wanted to go forward. It could also involve fantasies uh, in that extreme um, in that extreme standpoint. Then the moon represents when you have a, uh, a feeling of, um, how do you say it, when you uh, thought or you're thinking that by now you should have been much further than you think you are, while it's, that is just an a uh, a fallacy okay so you are exactly where you have to be all right and if you are dissatisfied with the results right now probably it is because you thought on a much greater scale than you should have back in the days and therefore now you know you have to take a little bit more time to think of like i said how to sprawl your current uh, milestones and how to make use of them if i may express it that way the accompanied card of the moon is going to be the uh, queen of wands. So the formation, it is a uh, <clears throat> passive, um, passive enemies. And it's a bit tough thing. It's because uh, we're talking about a uh, self-pity. Is that it? I mean, uh, when you are, uh, when you are having a, um, a sense that you are underpaid, 
you are underused in the sense of that you know that you can go for much more into your job, for example, but just your boss does not give you the chance and the opportunity to do so, right? It's, it's that kind of a sense that you may have a target on your back as well, okay? So the week itself is going to face you with your personal fears and insecurities and um, <clears throat> there is no other way to deal with them but to just ignore them, at least according to these cards. By ignoring them and focusing more upon, you know, what you can make up with, make up with, with, with the current stance that you do have, with the current means, it's going to serve you much more benefit than... Uh, than usual so what i like to say in these kind of cases guys is that you shouldn't concern with what could have been all right you should concern yourself with what really is and do something with it instead of you know pitying yourself that it could have been better it always could be better but remember that always can be worse as well i mean one thing when it's when it's bad it always can go worse believe me so the next one uh, that we do have for you, Scorpio, is going to be um, the positive aspect of the week. And we do have the Three of Pentacles. So that card itself points for a lot of meeting, not meetings, excuse me, not necessarily with a substantial people. That could be meetings in between you and your friends as well, you know, discussing about your situation. Uh, it's important to be said here, it is that the majority of the people that you associate yourself with throughout the week are going to support you, all right, because the Tree of Pentacles is always about support through one's development. Also, the card points that you may face a, a person who is extremely skillful in the field that you are trying to sprawl. What I'm trying to say here is, let's say that you are... <clears throat> thinking of opening your own thing, all right, your own business, but you don't know exactly how you are to make it. Well, you do scratch yourself a bit of a plan and you share it with someone who is already in the market, who is already in the business, who established themselves a name and they completely destroy your plan. It's because it's inaccurate, okay? And afterwards, they are to create you their own plan or it's they're going to adapt their plan to yours or to your situation, which is going to make it very, very effective. But the Tree of Pentacles here points that throughout the week, uh, a cooperation, you know, and meaningful conversations about the future and about the, the situation as presented is going to benefit you a lot, mainly because you will become more and more aware of what you will have to do from now on. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Wands formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. <clears throat> So with the Two of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, you pretty much have it all. I, I mean, as a necessities for you to push and advance forward, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, you, you don't have to polish anything, anything else. So to give you an example of that, let's say you are trying to open a, a private business, but you are not exactly sure that people are going to buy what you're selling. Well, with this couple of cards uh, on a positive aspect, people are going to buy what you are selling. What I mean is that what you have to sell is enough. Okay, so let's say you are you want to become an a, um, astrologer, right, or a tarot reader. It doesn't matter, but because the moon card sits here and the four of cups on the first on the first position, then the reading reads as you are unsure of your skills that are going to be sufficient for the people that are going to purchase reading from you. And therefore, as the four of cups stands, you may think that you do need more and more to, to, to get the hang of it and to, to learn about the cards and these kind of stuff. While that is untrue, all right? I mean, it, it is true. I, well, it's kind of like you always need to... Um, expand your knowledge it is what i do as well but the thing with the with these cards is that you have to start from somewhere <clears throat> if you are waiting for the, per for the for the perfect moment for those kind of things you're never gonna have one it is like trying to buy yourself the best tv out there i mean you may buy if you wait for the best tv to come around, you will never gonna wait for it to come around because every couple of months, a better TV comes around, right? So you have to start from somewhere. You need to say yourself, all right, so I'm gonna starting at the 1st of April or on the 1st of October or now the 1st of August. It's just, it's, it's as simple as that. And like I said, when you do start to expand your marriage or your career or regardless, you're going to have a support from a development. 
from the people around you. And the last one, it is about the guidance here. We do have the uh, page of wands. So with the page of wands, it does look like that uh, <clears throat> you will foremost have to uh, depend on yourself while you are going to have support from your development. You need to know that this support, it's support. It is not babysitting. It's not like people are going to hold your hand. So ultimately, you have to count first and foremost uh, on yourself and on nothing else. Therefore, whenever you are to jump into certain endeavors or, or to establish yourself a certain goal, you have to think of, can you do it by your own accord? And if you can't, then it's uh, probably something that you should postpone further into the future. Additionally to that, the uh, page of wands here points that you throughout this week should be hoping for everything new that comes in your way, all right? Everything new. Uh, new people to date with or new people to talk to, all right? New projects to examine and to research and to, to, to expand on in these kind of stuff. Do not be stuck on your uh, current standpoints, guys. Be always open-minded for a new um, how can I play new new enterprises? While the uh, page of wands, it could be also a bit of a morbid card, pointing that, <clears throat> especially if you are in a uh, uh, in a job in a big company, that you maybe <clears throat> that your ideas may not be faced right now with a bit of an understanding. Well, they're gonna be faced with understanding, all right, but maybe there won't be a funds to support those ideas or or a um, a common sense of the company to support those ideas as well. Therefore, some of those ideas that you may have uh, may not be approved by your supervision, you know, by the bosses there and etc. etc. Do not get angry of it. That's what the guidance is. And the final card here that we do have that is to be the king, the knight of swords, excuse me. So formation is active friends here. And with the knight of swords, it's uh, uh, throughout the week, you will need to have courage. The knight of swords is always about courage with the uh, page of wands, courage to face Whatever new is coming in your way, because newness is going to come in your way throughout the week. And if you turn your back on it, it's not going to ask you twice. That's the point. <clears throat> and for that reason, you need a courage throughout the week. Additionally to that, with the Knight of Swords, it is uh, best when you, whatever decision you are to make, right? You have to synchronize it with your with your emotions, although the, the decision, the process of taking the decision is going to be mainly oriented uh, in, a, in, in the intellectual field, I'm sorry. So you may have the tendency here to neglect your emotions or to neglect your feelings, which should be a bad thing for you to do. Just go for whatever your guts is telling you, okay? Whatever makes you a, a good impression uh, you should go for it. And it's simply as that. Whatever makes you poignant and makes you feel bad, well, probably it's time for you to let go of. So that being said, Scorpio, <clears throat> this was your a, a weekly tarot reading for July 29 to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.